This video covers how to use a DSO and a signal generator as a component tester or a curve tracer. By applying an AC signal across the device and measuring the resulting AC current, this procedure gives you a component signature where the x-axis is your voltage and the y-axis is your current and that would be displayed on the oscilloscope. With this method you can not only measure a signature of a resistor or a capacitor but also of combined components, and you can even do that in circuit. So you could have a known good board measure a signature of components, and then uh, have a suspect board and, and be able to measure it and see which components might be good or bad. It really could help speed up the uh, troubleshooting of defective circuits. So uh, as far as setting up, what I've got here is a 2534. It's a uh, BMK Precision Digital Storage Oscilloscope, and a model 4045, which is a 20 megahertz DDS suite function generator. So for the generator, I'm going to set it up to uh, a sine wave, which it already is, and set it to 500 hertz. And it's set for 5 volts, and the output is on. Uh, other tests might have you do it at a different frequency. For these, I'm setting it to 500 hertz. Uh, for the oscilloscope, you have to put it in XY mode. Um, some oscilloscopes have different ways of, of doing that. On this model, you go into the horizontal menu and press XY. And for channel 1, I'm going to set that for 1 volt. And channel 2, I'm going to leave at 200 millivolts. And the time base is set to 250 microseconds. So now that this is set up, I've got uh, here a solidless breadboard. And uh, I'll have put on the display the design for that or the, uh, the illustration. What I'm going to put in right now is a 3K ohm resistor. And what you're going to see is the display is going to now kind of shift to a diagonal line, which would be 3K. Anything around 4, kilohertz, uh, 4 kilo ohms will be almost a open circuit and it would be a, a horizontal line. What I'll do here is put a short across this, and you're going to see that this line will go almost vertical. And anything uh, probably less than about 300 ohms for this would probably show up as a vertical line. So for measuring resistors, you're probably between 300 and 3K ohm. Uh, what I'll put on right now is a 4.7 microfarad capacitor. And there you're able to see the, the loop. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll have uh, put on the screen a couple of different types of signatures for different components, capacitors, different types of diodes to give you an idea of so what type of curve you should expect to see. This is a 33 micro Henry inductor, and you're going to see that when I put it on here, it's basically a short. And a silicon diode. Now we're displaying an illustration showing a couple of different components with different values so you can get an idea of the type of characteristic curve you would expect to see for each type of component. So there you have it. Have fun experimenting with this. Uh, see what type of component signatures you can come up with. And feel free to leave any comments uh, below. Thank you.